All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to talk about why it's easier to move money than to spend it and what that means for getting clients. So again, we're talking about why there's so much opportunity to start an ad agency, right? And I, I, I want to drive this po point home because I want you to understand that this is an easy business compared to most other types of businesses you might start. And so you need to take advantage of this because it is literally one of the, if not the easiest businesses to start if you do it correctly. So for instance, let me show you one thing that you can do um, when choosing a client and choosing the right client that will help this whole thing work easier. So generally, the one thing, uh, there's several things I look for in the perfect client, but one of the first things I look for is in a potential client, we want to make sure they are already advertising, okay? Already advertising. Why? Well, I'll tell you why. It is easier to move money than it is to spend it. So if you go after a, say, a mom and pop restaurant, right? And this mom and pop restaurant has survived on word of mouth and all this for years, and they don't spend a penny on advertising. It is going to be very hard, hard to get or convince that mom and pop old Italian restaurant or whatever it is to spend money because now they have to take money out of their pockets that they were not spending and they have to they have to let go of it, right? So we're trying to convince them to spend money. We don't want to convince anyone to spend money because that's hard. I don't like hard. I like easy. So what is easy? Easy is to simply move money, okay? Now what do I mean by move money? So let's say that they're advertising on uh, Yelp. Okay, which I believe um, when I last checked, Yelp has a contract even, okay? And, you know, you have to pay money to advertise in there and you're stuck in a contract. Or let's say they're a realtor and they're spending money on Zillow or Trulia. Uh, I actually, the realtor that uh, helped us uh, buy our house that I live in now, she told me that when she signed up for Zillow, she spent $1,200 to get started and for her first month and she got one lead. That's $1,200 a lead. Now, when I run uh, Facebook ad campaigns for realtors, I usually get them leads anywhere from three to $12, depending on the, the lead. Three to $12 versus $1,200, okay? Think about that for a second. Just think about that. So if a realtor or uh, someone that's spending money on TV or radio or coupon books or whatever, if they're spending money already, all you really have to do is find out if they're happy or not, which if you're talking to them, it's highly likely they're not happy. Otherwise, why would they even be considering anything, um, you know, to get more business? They'd be happy, right? So if you're talking to them and you're telling them about how you can run Facebook ads for them and you get them to admit that their TV advertising isn't working or their radio advertising isn't working or their Yelp or their Zillow or their uh, print advertising isn't working. Now, you don't have to convince them to spend money. You only have to convince them to move money, to move money from their Zillow or their print or their TV advertising over to Facebook. Once you convince them to do that, you have a client. And it's, again, much easier to convince someone to move money than it is to spend money because no one, no matter who you are, likes to spend money. Even if you want something, nobody likes to spend money. Everybody gets sticker shock. And so if you frame it to your client and you present it in a way where you're saying, hey, listen, you're spending $1,200 a month on Zillow. Uh, I'd, I'd like you to instead spend $1,200 a month on Facebook or you know what, you can spend $1,200, even, even if it's more, you can say, uh, you can spend $1,200 a month on Zillow and get one lead, or you can spend $1,500 a month with me, and I can get you 
dozens and dozens of leads. Which would you rather do? Of course, of course, they're going to choose you. For instance, um, I had this realtor named Dennis. And the very first week we ran ads for him. He's a realtor in Tarpon Springs, Florida. He got, I think it was 50 or 60 leads. He had to turn, we had to turn the ad campaign off um, because he had so many leads. He actually sold some of those leads to realtor buddies of his because he couldn't keep up. And um, I'll, actually, I'll actually include a link to his testimonial for me on that because it's just so cool to see how he was so excited uh, to get all these leads because he was spending so much money on leads from other types of uh, businesses that, uh, and or, uh, uh, outlets that realtors usually l use. Then once I showed him how many leads I could get him for real, uh, for, from Facebook, he was just blown away. So again, if you convince a potential client to move money rather than spend money, um, it's much easier to close them. And in order to do that, you've got to find clients that are already advertising. Uh, one more tip for this is a great place to look for these clients is in those methods of advertising. So you can go and download coupon books, print magazines. You can write down numbers that you see on your local TV advertisements. You can listen to the radio and write down numbers. And you can go find these businesses and you can, you know, make a spreadsheet of their contact information and uh, you can start prospecting based on that and just ask a simple question. Hey, how's your print advertising working for you? Hey, how's your TV advertising work for you? And if you already have clients in their field and you can show them a case study um, of what you have done in the past, it's very easy to close them. And don't worry, I'm going to show you how to get your first client and how to get your first case study a little bit later on. But just know that you must keep in mind moving money is easier and spending money. See you in the next video.